it's your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, aka Pass the Flight, Shoot Flight, Flex Luger. Call me what you want, but can't play the boy broke. They should I'm be rich in Christ, man. Back with another video as usual. If you have already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So we rock with the flight crew. You don't have fun. Before we get started, I want to send a message out. I told y'all I'm coming for the early review crown. So make sure you follow me on IG, Flight Academy, underscore kicks with a Z. Boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, aka Pastor Flight, Sugar Flight, Candy Man, Ghost, all them great names. Call me what you want. Can't call your boy broke because I am rich in Christ, man. Back with another video for y'all today, man. And before we get started, you already know how we get a jumper, man. Please make sure, please, please, please make sure you hit the subscribe button right now, man. Hit the subscribe button. And as well as make sure you follow me on IG, Flight Academy underscore Kicks with a Z. Follow the store page, Flight Academy Kicks underscore L A L, man. So we are here. I'm talking about this release that's going to happen tomorrow with these UNC Sixes, man. People are panicking left and right only because Sneakers did the shot drop and they released all their pairs, man. So I want to calm some of y'all nerves, but listen, I'm telling you, I think tomorrow is going to be hectic with this release, but I do not believe that it is going to be that big of a problem. Now, I talked to my boy at break. I told him my bro break, man. And I told him, I said, bro, I think people are overreacting, bro. I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. He said, bro, I think you underestimating it. I think it's going to be a problem. I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue, man. I know some of y'all have put in y'all raffles today. Some of y'all did not hit on them. But these shoes are, they, I'm telling you, they remind me so much, not because of the same silhouette or just because of the difference in the color placement. They remind me of the Carmine Sixes, bro. I, I feel like they're going to they're gonna restock again. We're going to see restocks in the UNC Sixes. May not see them within the first week, but by the second week, we're going to see restocks. We're going to see some of these stores that didn't receive some of their pairs receive their pairs. They're going to start getting more pairs. I think eventually we're going to see these UNC Sixes on the Jordan Reserve. Like, you see on the Reserve recently, they had Fire Red 4s back up there. You know what I'm saying? So, they're constantly bringing shoes back out. They may have done all the pairs that they was going to originally drop on Saturday on the shop drop. But listen, y'all. Nike got plenty more pairs sitting at that warehouse. We've known that. And that's exactly why when I told you the move that Nike's trying to make where they're controlling the whole shipment may not be a bad idea. Or controlling the whole shipment, the release, and everything in the whole may not be a bad idea. It actually may turn out to be a good one uh, because you're going to be able to get more chances on getting pairs because if they're going to put out pairs, instead of having just 70,000, they may end up having like 300, 400,000 available on sneakers. You know what I'm saying? We could definitely see the number of sneakers increase. So, with that being said, I will say for the most part that you need to chill if you did not get them. Now, yes, I think some places you could buy. I've seen people in certain sneaker groups, you know, selling their pairs for three hundred. I've seen some for three twenty. Seen some for three thirty, three forty. I think the highs I've seen like three seventy five, three eighty. But still not a bad price if it's a shoe that you actually want. But I just think that people need to relax, calm down for a second. Let's get through the release tomorrow. But most importantly, be safe, all right? I don't think it's going to be as bad as everybody's making it seem. Now, I know that I may be the only sneaker YouTuber or the only reseller that's going against the grain of what everybody else is saying. I know everybody else is probably telling y'all, listen, it's going to be problems. The price is going to jump. I don't see that. I don't see the UNC 6's prices jumping up crazy like that. Y'all going to see tomorrow. I'm willing to bet y'all that when y'all go to these stores to pick up, when it's time for first come, first serve, some stores are doing 12, some stores are doing 3 o'clock. I'm willing to bet you that there may still be some pairs still available, right? S slight chance there may be some pairs available. I know some stores didn't get all grade schools. We've seen that with multiple joint releases. There's nothing to get crazy about. Some stores got grade school, but didn't get men. We've seen that also with multiple joint releases. So it's not... Anything that we've never seen before. The only thing that may have happened with this release that was out of the ordinary was the issue with Nike and the shot drop and then releasing all this stuff. But that really don't matter, man. Because to be honest with y'all, everybody that was trying to go for them on Saturday were going to try to go for them on the shot drop. And if you had purchased on the shot drop, you weren't going to be able to purchase on the Saturday. So you really still got the same chances that you would have had if they dropped on Saturday. And that's why I'm telling you, there's nothing to worry about. You just got to chill and relax. You got to think about it. Some people got their pairs on shot drops, and they got their pairs in already, and their pairs really ain't selling for that much. You know what I'm saying? Like, really not selling that much. And 
anytime a shoe shot drops the same week it's going to release, don't necessarily always jump up in price anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because by the time they receive it, they probably receive it like a day or two before the release. And they try to just move. Some people just get the sneakers just to resell. You know what I'm saying? So they're not necessarily wanting for the feet. They just want to resell. They want to make the money they want. And they don't really go for that much, man. I'm telling you. If you want to learn the sneaker history, you want to learn the sneaker game. Well, not history, but this is the, the game and how everything goes. All you got to do is follow the pattern of how things release, man. And just don't freak out, man. UNC 6s will be available tomorrow. Now, here's the thing. I know some stores do not get all they stock. We're going to be prepared for that. But outside of that, there is no reason to be going off the handle, rushing to pay 400 on gold or 450 It's none of that, man. That shoe is not going to touch that high, bro. Like, I promise you, that shoe is not going to touch. Somebody already offered me my size for 280 You know what I'm saying? That they hit on the shot drop. It's not going to be crazy. Yes, if you have to pay resale, resale may be around 330 340 That's what they really resell market been around for all the shoes anyway. So it really ain't surprising, man. But I'm telling you, even though we like this shoe, it's nice. It still gives me the Carmine vibes, man. So there's no reason to freak out. Just chill, man. Just chill. But most importantly, man, y'all know these releases have been crazy these last few weekends. Every time there's a release, there's something happening, man. Listen, make sure y'all keep your head on the swivel with this release. It is a joint release. And just be careful, man. Special out there in L.A. That seems to be where everything keeps happening at, man. But listen, if you in these lines waiting for your rifles, man, go in, get your shoe, and get up out of there, man. To be honest with you, if you're a scared person, I would go later in the day versus going early in the day because early in the day, everybody's going to be at there trying to get them. You may have a better chance of safety of getting it right before the cutoff time is or maybe somewhere close to that, man. But just, just be careful, man. Like, you know... You don't have to alter your schedule to pick up shoes. Just be careful, man. Watch your surroundings and be on point at all times, man. So, I tell y'all, just relax, bro. Everybody just calm your nerves, man. Listen, I have not been wrong. I want to point out another thing. I told y'all that a lot of retro tools is going to drop this year. And I told y'all last year, like I told them, what are we seeing now? A lot of y'all said, bro, retro tools is not a pop of silhouette. They're not going to drop them. And now y'all see that they are dropping them, okay? They are dropping them. So y'all got to be ready for it, man. Y'all got to be ready for it. So that is it, man. We're done for today, man. Y'all enjoy your weekend. We got the UNC 6s released tomorrow. I may actually do a vlog. I'm not 100% sure if I am, but I may actually do a vlog tomorrow. I'll we'll be picking up here. It just depends on how busy it get, how I'm feeling, man. So I might do that. So be prepared for that. But if not, we're going to be back next week with more videos, man. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Right now, hit the subscribe button. Y'all run it up and do what you got to do, man. But until next time, you know how you rock it, man. Take flight with the flies. Me and fly me. This ain't fly right. Hustle and motivate. Long live nip, man. And we out.